Hello everybody, just a quick announcement before we get into the video. If you've watched any videos on this channel for the month of November, you might know that we are shouting out TCG Player Infinite this month and I just wanted to let you guys know that you only have three days left to get early access using the code MarinMTG. So if you don't know what TCG Player Infinite is, basically everybody knows what TCGPlayer.com is. It is the best place on the internet to buy magic cards or any cards really from any card game. And TCG Player Infinite, when you sign up, you get fast shipping, first of all. So TCG Player usually takes like a week to ship, but when you sign up for Infinite, it usually takes like two to three days to get your order. I've even had some people sign up and told me that they got their order on the same day that they ordered it, which is absolutely nuts. That's super fast. I didn't know TCG Player was capable of that, but apparently they are. And um, you get 3% store credit back on your orders and who doesn't like free stuff? And the best part is you get free shipping. The shipping on your order is absolutely free. The service is only $6.99 a month. So if you're somebody who likes to buy magic cards on a regular basis, this is definitely the service for you. You can find the link in the description down below or go to infinite.tcgplayer.com and don't forget to use the code MarinMTG when you sign up. Like I said, we we're doing this only for the month of November and our goal was to get 100 people to sign up this month and we are currently at 11. So thank you to all of you guys. And we only have three days left to go. So if you wanted to sign up, now is the time. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pioneer gameplay video. Today we're doing some RG Ponza. Now I'm excited for today's gameplay video and I know I say that about like every single gameplay video we do, but it's just every deck has something that I'm excited for. Today I have two in specific. One is that we are going to be able to try Ponza and Pioneer, which Ponza and Pioneer isn't a thing yet. And uh... Ponza is one of my guilty pleasures in Magic. The second thing I'm excited about is that we're gonna get to try Sylph and Primordial. Now, I haven't played with this card since it was in Standard, and I've wanted to play with it for a long time again, but I couldn't because it's banned in Commander, and Commander's my favorite format. It's the format I most often play. So we're gonna be able to give it a good try here in Pioneer today and see how it does. Let's jump right into the deck tech followed by the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. I would like to start off by first of all saying that I love land destruction. Call me a degenerate all you want, but it's one of the things that I love to do. It makes people salty and do I feel bad about it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't have a good answer for that. Now in Pioneer, land destruction is probably not so viable because there's not a lot of cheap or good land destruction spells. So I really had to pull some strings to get this list viable and I think it actually turned out pretty sweet. So let's check it out. I really had no good way to sort this deck tech, so let's just jump right into it. With Frenzy Tilly and Sylvan Primordial, our bigger land destruction spells. So Frenzy Tilly can destroy a land and then search for a basic land from your deck and put it on the battlefield. So you put your opponent down a land and you go up a land. And conveniently, when you're at five, Frenzy Tilly ramps you to six and the next time you play a land and that's seven. So you got Sylvan Primordial right after that. And when it enters the battlefield for each opponent, so that's why Commander, but it's banned um, because it was too broken with Deadeye Navigator. Besides the point, it destroys a non-creature permanent that player controls so you can destroy a land and then you can also ramp yourself um, but it can also hit a planeswalker it can hit an enchantment an artifact whatever you need it to so it's pretty versatile so at that point in the game whatever's given us trouble we can just deal with it so that's pretty nice now on to our other land destruction spells bramble crush has that same thing that primordial does where it can destroy a non-creature permanent not just a land so it can destroy land an artifact a planeswalker an enchantment anything that's given us trouble so it's it's also has that versatility there have hazard bombardment does the same thing as well it enters and puts a counter on four non-enchantment permanents aim counters and then at your end step if two or more um, permanents have an aim counter on them you destroy one of them at random so the idea that we want to do with this is to put it on four of our opponent's lands so at the end step it'll just randomly destroy one of their lands and then the next turn it's going to repeat that and destroy another one so over the course of two turns it will destroy two lands so that's pretty cool it can also destroy creatures or just anything they wanted to so that's pretty nice anything except enchantments i don't know why it's not enchantments maybe you can let me know in the comments down below anyways on to our final land destruction package so we have cavalier of thorns 
uh, and when it enters, you can look at the top five cards of your library and put a land into play. So we have a playset of Memorial to War and a Singleton Encroaching Wastes, and these are lands that can destroy lands as well. Memorial to War, since we're gonna ramp a lot, you just pay that five, sack it to destroy one of our opponent's lands. Encroaching Wastes, pay four and sack it to destroy a non-basic land, but either way, Cavalier should help us find some more of these so that we can crack them and destroy more lands. Now onto our removal. Got Lightning Strike, pretty versatile. And then, uh, like, there's, I was thinking of running Wild Slash, but the reason we're running Lightning Strike is because things like Spell Queller, Deputy Detention, and Gifted Aetherborn, and, you know, annoying stuff like that. Uh, Chandra Torture Defiance and Chandra Awakened Inferno can remove things. Um, and then Chandra Awakened Inferno is also a really nice win con given those emblems. And Chandra Torch of Defiance um, can also ramp you into Silver Primordial the turn after you play it if you do have a land drop. So that's pretty nice. Very, very hyper acceleration. And then also gets that emblem pretty quickly if undealt with. Also can just win the game on its own. Now onto our ramp. Uh, we have quite a bit of ramp because we have quite a bit of clunky stuff. We got Elvish Mystic, Land War Elves, and Sylvan Carry added. Now we want to get up to like five or six mana like every game. And then like we basically want to just get to five guaranteed. Or at least four for Chandra, but like five, because Frenzy Tilly, Tilly will do the job and ramp us even further. If we get to Cavalier, that'll do the job and ramp us even further. So all we really need to do is get to five by like turn three, or latest four. So these guys should help. We have a total of 21 lands, typical Gruel mana base, except the Singleton Encroaching Wastes. We do have our land instruction package in there. Uh, small land count, just because we do have a lot of mana dorks. Onto the sideboard. Uh, like I always say, it's um, up for changes. If I do put changes, I'll let you know right now. Um, but we got two copies of Graf Digger's Cage to prevent reanimation from like the God Pharaoh's Gifts decks and any decks running Prize of the Malgum and stuff like that. And we have two copies of Magma Spray as extra cheap removal for the little weenie decks. We got two copies of Rending Volley. This is mainly for dragon decks because Dragon Lord Ojitai destroys that pretty easily, but also can hit like stuff out of spirits like Imperian Eagle Spell Queller, stuff like that. And we got two copies of uh, Sorcerer Spyglass to hit Planeswalkers because Planeswalkers are annoying. Uh, if we don't get like a Primordial or a Cavalier very quickly, uh, Planeswalkers can just like walk all over us. So we gotta make sure we can deal with them. And we got two copies of Bow of Nylia. Now this one's interesting because it can, it has two viable options on there for us. It can either deal two damage to Flyers, um, which is pretty nice to deal with the Spirit decks because they got like the Mausoleum Wanders, the Rattle Chains, the Selfless Spirits and stuff like that. So it could do something there, but also I can pay two and tap it to gain three life. Now that's going to help against the burn decks. Um, and speaking of burn decks, we got two copies of Arboreal Grazer or whatever it's called, Ar Arbor Stomper. It can enter and gain five life. It's basically the pioneer legal Thrag Tusk, a uh, five mana, five, four trample, gain five life. I just got to gain that chunk to get out of range from burn. And then we got three copies of Reclamation Sage, destroy artifacts and enchantments uh, as if we didn't have enough of that in the main board. Anyways, that's about it. I'll get the stream started, and I'll see you in the first round. If you wanted to pick up today's deck, or any cards really, it would be awesome if you purchased through our decklist link down below. That is our TCGplayer.com affiliate link, and when you purchase through that link, it really helps support the channel. This video is supported by our generous patrons. If you'd like to join the marination as well, you can find our Patreon link down below in the description, and you'll also gain access to our Patreon-exclusive Discord server, where we discuss deck ideas for future videos. Got a game here against Ryu Tuin, and yes, we're gonna be on the play with some Pioneer Ponza, and I'm gonna keep this one. It's very slow since we got like nothing to enable our check land and the center's tapped, but at least that might be a quick Bramble Crush. We'll see. It looks like it is. Yeah, I can do Br Bramble Crush on turn three, and hopefully that buys us time to ramp up to this Chandra. Bag of Holding, so it's probably a wheel deck of sorts. Okay, that's uh that's a nice top deck because that ramps me to Chandra a turn quicker. Actually, no, it doesn't. I could go for the turn four Chandra, but I think I want to just Bramble Crush them first things first. Ooh, we got a forest, nice. Bramble Crush that source right there. Get it out of here. Pass the turn. Please play a non-basic so I can encroaching waste it. That would be cool. And I also got two Memorial to Wars at the ready. Yo, Scattered Groves. Oh, they're just a, they're just a new Perspectives deck. All right, so let's go. Oh, we drew a Frenzy Tilling. Nice. Let's just Frenzy Tilling wrap up to our Chandra. 
Oh, let's get another forest. Got enough red already. If they play another land, I'm just gonna memorial to war it. Not gonna let them get any mana. Alright, yeah, let's just encroach that. Let's not let them get anything going. Another Hinterland Harbor. How adorable. Memorial. Bop ya. If they thought sees me, I'm gonna be so sad I didn't play Chandra. They pass. Alright, dude. It's Chandra. Give you an emblem. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, they're gonna start taking the pings. Opponent, can you come back from this? What is your favorite colors of magic? Uh, green, definitely. Alright. Go ahead and bop that land. All right, they're gonna start looting. Sure. Yeah, they scoop it up. Okay, that was a perfect uh, explanation of what Ponza is supposed to do. And let's go into sideboarding. So I assume they're new perspectives. I'm assuming new perspectives um, because they're gonna cycle a bunch of stuff, and and then when it goes to bag of holding, they're just gonna get it all back. It basically, um, bag of holding is like another copy of Shadow of the Grave, or shout like something like that, whatever it's called. Shadows of the Pastor, you know, the one I'm talking about, the one that works with new perspectives. So, um, I don't think that Sorcerer's Spyglass is going to do anything, but at least it can stop the Bag of Holding, and it's probably better than Lightning Strike here. And, um, Gravdigger's Cage, they can't cast spells from graveyards, that might be relevant, but probably might not. Um, Lightning Strike is just probably not needed here at all, so I'll just probably just bring in Arborback Stompers and some Beaters, and run it like that, and hope to do that again. Yo, Wakiuspo. How's it going? My favorite colors in Magic is either playing mono green or black white. One of the two. I always loved Boros and Rakdos, but if we're talking about Commander, it's definitely Simic. Definitely Simic. All right. Um, we're going to be on the draw now, and that looks like a keep. Go Elvish Mickey or Elvis Mickey and a carry added into Frenzy Tilling into Primordial because the Tilling ramps you into the Primordial. So that's pretty nice. I do need to hit a land drop though in the next two turns. Alright, Bag of Holding and another tap land. Let's get out carry added and hope for the best next turn. Hope our stuff doesn't get swept and hope uh, our stuff doesn't get countered. Uh, is it gift of paradise time? Cycles to bag of holding. And lotus field. Yo, I can't blow that up. I cannot blow that up. Alright, so I guess that means we're just going to go with Arborback Stomper. Beater. Play a land that I can blow up, please. So they're trying to, uh, it's like Twiddlestorm, they're trying to untap this with Zero the Tumbling Sands because they're going to cycle it under Bag of Holding, and that's like their plan. Alright, let's go Shock here, and let's Frenzy Tilling the Mage Ring Network. And that'll wrap me into the Sylvan Primordial to blow up the Bag of Holding. I'm gonna do a little bit of cycling here. If they are gonna do some cycling. Yep. Gets Shallow Shadow of the Grave. Yeah, see, I got it right. I got it right. It is Shadow of the Grave. Blow that up. Let's go grab a mountain. Go to combat and attack for six. And then Primordial is going to come down and blow up that bag of holding and crush their dreams.
basic swamp. All right, now I'm a little bit more tempted to blow up that swamp. Sylvan Primordial. Let's blow up the land. All right, they're going to do a little bit of cycling here. Cycle Chef and Monitor to ramp. That's pretty cool. The good thing I did that, or else they would have been able to play uh, New Perspectives next turn. So that puts them down a turn um, from casting New Perspectives. Let's get a Stomping Ground tapped. Let's go to Combat Attack for 5. And we have Lethal on board, so they are forced to do something here. So they can't cycle their Haze of Pollen. They're going to have to use their Haze of Pollen. But we're pretty sure that they have a Haze of Pollen. Cycles Vizier. Okay, so they can. They can play New Perspectives right now. If they do have an untapped land or a second Vizier. And they do have an untapped land, so they can play New Perspectives here. So let's see what their win con is. Um... So their bag of holding can just get their stuff back, and that's that's their plan. Because they can make a bunch of mana with Vizier, the Tumbling Sands, and Lotus Field, because they're going to get them all back with bag of holding. So, um... Oh, wow. They found out they didn't have any more win cons or something. Because they needed two mana They needed two mana to crack the bag of holding, or they needed four mana to crack the bag of holding. And if they couldn't get another Vizier, or didn't have any more cyclers, yeah, they, they weren't going to be able to do it. Um, so yeah, the tempo of the land destruction, that is a good example right there of what Ponza is supposed to do. Sweet. Got a game here against Mimo, and we're going to be in the play with some RG Ponza in Pioneer, and that is going to be a keep. All right, so it's a little bit slow. We got turn four, Frenzy Tilling, if our elf lives. And then we can lightning strike a threat, possibly. Po opponent has a... Oh, wait, no, their name is R Nemo, not Mimo. When an R is right next... A lowercase R is right next to a lowercase N, it just looks like an M. Oh, they're Mill. Okay, so somebody can literally, like, make the name R Neem. So that they, they can use... They can have the name Meme without it actually being that. So the opponent being Mill, I think Land Destruction is going to be a pretty solid strategy against them. I think they probably have like 23, maybe 22 lands and just all of those like Mill spells but no like interaction. So I assume since they have no interaction, let us do what we want to do. I think we're going to be able to walk all over them. And this Frenzy Tilling might help us ramp into the Sylvan Primordial. And we did, he did mill us over four non-lands, which is ideal because I need lands. Bezla Paramnesia. Alright, I see what's going on here. That Merfolk Shorekeeper as a 1-4 blocker is going to be, um... Actually, not too bad, not too bad. They mill us for 3. Oh, and they replace itself. I was going to say, that seems like a bad card. 3 mana mill 3. They got their Merfolk here. Right, untap, let's go... Destroy their Black Source. Let's go tutoring for a, a mountain. And pass a turn. What's our grave looking like? Frenzy Tilling, Chandra, Elves. Seems good. And even if we don't get an untapped source, we can just uh, half-hazard bombardment. Which is still good. Mind Sculpt us. <laughs> Solid. This is hilarious. Okay, double half-hazard bombardment. Let's do it. And I don't want to blow up their secret, their shorekeeper. I just want to make sure I hit a land here. Oh, I have to do four? I have to do four. Or I have to do as many as possible. Alright, so I guess that'll do. Please kill a land. Thank you. Solid. <laughs> and we can still hit another land with it. Got one more activation off of it. Don't thought erasure me, please. Okay, breaking. This is hilarious. Alright. Sylvan Primordial. Let's blow up a land. And then half hours of bombardment. Hopefully we'll blow up another land. And they just scoop it up. Sweet. 
on to sideboarding against Mill. I probably want nothing, so let's run it right back. Yeah, all of our spells do something against them. Lightning Strike doesn't, but at least it helps race. And there's that. Is Jace's Phantasm in Pine? I don't think it is. I don't think it's in Pioneer. You got Vantra's Gargoyle, though. And I guess if they have Vantra's Gargoyle, I probably want Rending Volley. So let me bring that in. But no, because Moto doesn't let you. So um, this is a slow hand. It's pretty slow. I probably need to go a little bit quicker against Mill because... Yeah, they had some pretty big, scary mill spells in there. Um, yeah, I think I need some ramp. I, I don't think I can do it like that. All right, well, I'm not going to go down to four, so I'm going to keep this one. If I get a red source, I can at least do Frenzy Tilling, so. I think that I probably bottom Chandra here, as weird as that is. Because I kind of want my all... I want all land destruction in this matchup. Because they're so vulnerable to it. Home scours me. Sure. I did get some ramp. I just need a red source. So at the least I can cast this Bramble Crush. They mill over three red sources. Okay, well that's ramp. We'll take ramp. And this encroaching waste is actually going to do something here, so that's good too. That's why you were asking if I consider black feels more like removals, but yeah, we got good removals. We got lightning strikes, rose, running volleys, um, magma sprays. We got decent removal. Okay, there's our red mana, but I kind of want to just. Bramble Crush here. No, I kind of want to just like Encroaching Wastes. Because they might have like Fraying Sanity that I want to get rid of. Yeah, it's just Encroaching Wastes. They got four cards left in hand. Are they going to hit their land drop? They milled a lot of our red sources. 30 cards left in deck. And they whiffed a land? Oh no, they hit a land. Dude. Alright, Bramble Crush you. Don't breaking me. It's scary. This is terrifying. Oh no, we got broke. 21 cards left. 20 cards left. Alright, Sylvan Carry added. I need to get the I need to get the red source out there. I'm getting the Whiffle Land so that I can get this frenzy, frenzy tilling down and then I'll feel comfortable. And I probably don't have a, a mountain to search out with this frenzy tilling. They probably milled it. Yep, it's right there. They milled my red land. I was gonna get off frenzy tilling. So now I have to literally hit a stomping ground or rootbound crag naturally to get a uh, Chandra out there. Vessel of Paramnesia. Okay, I can blow that up with Bramble Crush, but I kind of just want a Frenzy Tilling. Try to get their lands off. The oh, I have no more basics to fetch. No more ba Everything is a non-basic in the deck now. Don't hit your land. They're going to mill me for three here. Just don't hit your land. I really need to get a red source because I really need the Chandra down to win the game. Like, currently, I'm going to be too slow. Another Bramble Crush. Dude, I'm just going to Bramble Crush everything. Sure. I should have tapped the Sylvan Carry added so I could get in for a ping, but it's alright. They hit their island. And... Kills us for four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, good, 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 good. Good. Get down Chandra fast. Very fast. And then Chandra can wrap me into Sylvan Primordial and hopefully that lets me win. It's going to be very close. But now I'm losing cards. I'm losing cards here. Because Chandra's exiling the top card. The so please opponent don't have any Tome Scours or Merfolk Sea Keepers. 
Secret Keepers. No more of those. No more of those, please. Okay. All right. All right. Pick up for mana. Sylvan Primordial. Blow up your last land. Okay, get us. Do I even want to fetch a Stomping Ground? I'm not even going to. I want to keep cards in my deck. I want to keep them all in there. I want to keep all the cards in my library. Yeah, but they scoop it up. Oh man, that was so close. That was so close. Nice. Got a game here against Mac Daddy. We play against him basically in every gameplay video at this point. I forget what he's on, but we'll remember shortly. This is an awkward hand, but I'm going to keep it and hope we don't get interacted with, because if not... <laughs> Wise Wolf, six of six. Thank you for resubscribing for three months in a row. Welcome back to the marination. Enjoy your moons and nuts, your kinds of ducks, and your spikes. Yet again, can we get some duckies in the chat for Wise Wolf, six of six? All right, basic four is go. Kappa Ducks. Periodid of your own. Llanowar Elves. Double Llanowar Elves? Nope. Alright. Periodid. Go. Nykthos. Okay, Monogreen Devotion. Typical Mac Daddy. Oh, that's a good Vivian. All right, we're going to get aggroed out super hardcore here. <laughs> uh, we need to draw some goodies. I would like a Chandra Torch of Defiance here. Nope. All right, so this is going to be difficult because we can't play anything next turn either. So we're going to get beaten down by this 5-5 five five elf. And we're going to have to use this Haphazard Bombardment and pray that it gets us what we want to kill. Or kills what we want to kill. We want to kill Vivian and that stupid 5-5 five, five elf right now. Or just tap that elf. Do that. Tap the elf or something. But if you tap it for 5 mana, don't play Anissa. <laughs> okay, Walking Ballista for 2. That's okay. Well, oh, Vivian can start putting counters on it. Oh, that is crazy. This deck's out of control. Oh, I'm getting nothing. Nothing I can play. Yeah, I, I ought to scoop it up. There's, like, no way I'm going to beat this 6-6 Ballista. Like, I have to just pray that this Haphazard Bombardment does exactly what I want it to do. Burning Tree into... Okay, show me what you're going to nick those out right now. You have 6 Devotion. Okay, Monogreen Devotion is still wild, guys. Don't think the deck is dead. It is still very much live. And it's my favorite... It's my favorite Pioneer archetype. And my second favorite modern archetype for a reason. Because they can do some fun stuff. Like, look at what they're doing. I should have definitely put this in my Monogreen Devotion list, but I didn't. Ooh, yeah, we're just going super wide. And I'm taking eight here. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop. It is definitely very much over. We got to get a quicker hand than that. That hand sucked. We got nothing we could play. But now we get Roast and we get Magma Sprays. And uh, our Arborvac Stomper could be useful to, like, stabilize us while also trading with one of their fat creatures. Um, so it could be useful, but I don't know. Sorcerer's Spyglass is probably useful, too, because it stops uh, Vivian and, Sh and Nyssa. So I might want to bring in those. Land Destruction is so good against them. But I feel like it's just my most cuttable stuff. Yeah, I feel like it's just my most cuttable stuff is, is land destruction. Let's cut our mismatched land or elves or elvish mystic. And some caryatids. Alright. Would you like to play first? Yes. Okay. I'll keep that. It's not super exciting, and I do need a second red for Chandra, but at least I can blow up their first uh or one of their lands. 
pretty quickly. Yo, check that out. Spot of Mayhem costs 420 ticks. Spot of Mayhem's dank. Why do you always put, like, card price commands in the chat, Jokovo? I'm also hoping the opponent doesn't just turn two sack off a of ballista to kill my elf. That'd be rude. They're taking their time, so I'm gonna sip this water. Times like this, I'd like to cut out of the YouTube video, but you know, I sometimes forget them. So if you're watching this on YouTube right now, hello. Just know that I forgot to cut this part out of the video. All right, Elvis Mickey, go. They got their own Elvis Mickey. Okay, that's a lot of ramp. So now I could have the mana to play some pretty big stuff. I draw it. I would like a basic mountain or a root bound crag though or a stomping ground. Or a cavalier. I wouldn't mind a cavalier. They reveal once upon a time and they are going to keep once upon a time. Oh no, they reveal a forest. So they build once upon a time, get a counter and get a forest. Lots of value. Ooh, Chandra's here now. Um, I'm kind of tempted to still just bramble crush. Kind of tempted to still just bramble. Um, like if I got down Chandra, what am I trying to do? Like I want to blast something, but not. Let's just Bramble Crush. Screw it. Hey, you got three mana again. So do you got another Jade Light Ranger? It's gonna make my Chandra awkward. Oh no. Oh no. Gets in for a bit. Take it. Ooh, Cavalier. Um, I really would love to blast that with Chandra, but... I think I gotta get a blocker to help Chandra live first. So let's see if we can get some more memorials. And we do get another memorial. Don't play a Vivian. Don't play no! Okay, but at least I can attack a Vivian. Ooh, if they don't attack here, I can kill Vivian. Oh, nice. Nice. Blast that. Kill Vivian. Yes. Oh, I drew a Magma Spray, so I should have just sprayed the Elf. I guess I've missed out on the damage. Alright, the opponent's pretty screwed at this point. Ballista for two, kill Elf and Chandra? That would suck. Oh no, they're actually doing that. That's a good that's a good play right there. Nice two for one. But now I can start memorialing. Do that. And uh I guess I'll just let my elf die here. Mm-hmm. Get him for five. Do we run Crucible of Worlds? We don't. It'd be spicy with the memorial, but we don't. A little too cute for us. Once upon a time, are you getting a land? They get Voracious Hydra. Please give me a land. Please. Nope. I mean, it's kind of a land, but... It'll allow me to activate Memorial next turn and blow up another land.
Five man. How do you already have five? I thought I just blew up a land buyer to three. Now they can double the amount of counters on Voracious Hydra because that card's nuts. Five mana, six, seven trample. Solid card. That's crazy. Voracious Hydra's nuts. I need a Sylvan Primordial quick. Which I don't have the mana for because I just threw away a land. The opponent just... Can you stop hitting your land... Wow. Can you stop hitting your land drops, dude? And now they can get powers in this. They can kill their Cavalier now. Like, this is nuts. This deck is absolutely crazy. Now I get to put something back on top, but, like, I have nothing that can kill this monstrosity. Like, even a roast doesn't do it. Like, I can get Sorcerer's Spyglass. I can get Bramble Crush. But, like, nothing is good here. Like, Chandra Awaken Inferno I can play, but it, it can deal six to this, but six is not enough. Like, it's crazy. Like, what am I supposed to even do? I think I have to just, like, kill Vivian. Yeah, I have, I have no way to deal with this. Do I have any more Cavaliers in here? I don't. So I think it's just Chandra, Awaken Inferno, but then this thing is going to just like put stuff on it. I'm going to steal to a Planeswalker. It doesn't. Well, I guess it's just Bramble Crush. Yep. I could have sworn they had one less mana. How do they have five that turn? I blew up their lands down to four. Or down to three. I blew up down to three lands. They they should have four. What happened? I, I must have missed it. And that thing is trampled too. So I can't even chump block it. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna scoop. There's literally nothing I can top that that saved me from that saved me from that voracious Hydra. See, Mono Green Devotion is still a pretty nuts deck, guys. Got a game here against Pokehead, and yes, we're gonna be on the play with some Anza Pioneer. That is a very clunky hand. Got to know has no ramps, so we got a mole. And this one seems a little bit better. Um I'm gonna bottom one of the redundant Chandras, and then we can like Frenzy Tilling, and that'll ramp us into Chandra if we can get up to that on curve. And hope the opponent does not have, like, removal or thoughtsies. Let me catch up on chat. Oh yeah, it's Pioneer. It's a Bilchy. I technically don't have to shock here, because there's nothing currently I'm trying to ramp into quickly. But I think I'm going to do it anyways, just in case. I actually have no three drops to draw into. But then again, if I top deck, like, a Sylvan Carry added, I'd be sad I didn't... Use a turn one Elvish Mystic, so let's just do that. The opponent mulligan to six as well. Very stream, so it's either blue white control, blue white spirits, could be Bant Wilderness Wreck, or it could be Esper Control. So we did draw a lightning strike, which might possibly be useful if it is spirits or blue-white tempo. That blue-white tempo deck's been going around a lot just because it's really good. I forget who made it, but it was somebody on Star City Games. So it is Bant. Uh, either Wilderness Wreck or it's uh, Field of the Dead. I wish Mystic, so that probably means that it is um, probably some kind of company deck, I would assume. I'm guessing company. Wait, what happened? Why is my land tapped? Okay, there we go. That was crazy. So, lightning striking here is basically a Ponza spell. <laughs> Man. Spectral Sailor. 
Don't special sailor and trade. Don't do it. No. No. Okay, good. I thought they were gonna trade the special sailor. <laughs> Don't reflect mage or deputy detention. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. No! Okay, give me Bramble Crush. Nope. I'm sad all of a sudden. I am very sad. And now they can hold up Coco before we got any land destruction going. But at least tilling into Chandra is a pretty good curve out. Yep, see, they shocked. They're definitely holding up Coco now. But at least Spellqueller doesn't hit Frenzy Tilling, and Chandra will sweep the board of whatever they get. Half Hazard Bombardment. Alright, let's Frenzy Tilling the Sun Petal Grove. I need green. Let me guess, Coco? Yep, exactly what we expected. Uh-huh. Okay, that's not the worst thing. That's not the worst thing. This does threaten Chandra, but... Should be able to deal with it. Get a full rest. Yo, if Field of the Dead would actually be active right now. If we had one. All right, so if they do have Queller, if they do have Queller, so no, actually, no, follow up with the, the Dork. So let's go Chandra, and I think we're just gonna, oh no, this is an Elemental. That's an Elemental. I'm still gonna do it anyways. Do they have two creatures to eat? They don't. So let's just minus. Okay, good. Now let's follow up with the Chum Blocker. Can we get Spell Queller? Yeah, so Spell Queller, and then they're gonna kill Chandra. And then at least I get to get out the half hazard. The half hazard will then swap a few things. And yeah, so Chandra dead. Alright. You may hear neighbors in the background. Uh, another temple garden. Unfortunately, they topped another land. I could half hazard on all four of their lands and start blowing up those, but. I think I gotta get some creatures off the board because we're getting actually pretty low. It's Chandra. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put an aim counter on voice. That's that's pretty uh pretty obvious. The new serial layer cards look gorgeous. I love the fact that they're like white border. And um yeah, it's pretty cool. Have hazard. And let's go Temple Garden, Hollow Fountain, Prairie Stream, and a spell queller probably. You want that sliver? I haven't seen the sliver. I, I've only seen one card from that set, which is the one that makes you get a different deck that you own from outside the game. That's the only one I've seen. I haven't seen the rest of them. But what are they going to be legal in? Is it just going to be like unset legal? Like you can only play it like if your play group is fine with it? Is, is that literally it? Because if you could like run it in commander, that would be absolutely busted. And I don't think that would be legal. I'm pretty sure it's like unset kind of stuff. Yay! We hit the Spell Queller! That's actually ideal. Alright, so let's recast the, the Mystic. The Elv Elvis Mickey. Uh, Botanical Sanctum. Man, the opponent's hitting their lands. It's in for two. I think I'm just gonna take it. I don't feel like that's a good chump block yet. Not yet, but next turn. All right, and Tyler's Tracker. Oh, they did that before they played the Botanical Sanctum, so they screwed up. Okay, we got the Primordial. That's what we wanted. So let's go with the Primordial. And I think I'm going to blow up the Botanical Sanctum because that would keep our aim counters intact and give us a fat blocker. And you know what I like? Fat blockers.
And Haphazard is going to blow up. Please, Temple Garden. Please, Temple Garden. Yay! It actually blew up the two ideal targets. Spellcaller Temple Garden. That is amazing. Let me guess. They're going to hit their land again? They don't. All right, cool. They, they're going to swing it all. All right. Eat the tracker. And I am going to jump at this point. I think it's worth the jump at this point. Going down to four. Yep. And this might be the point of stabilization. Bramble Crush. I'm kind of tempted. Although I could just Encroaching Waste or Memorial here. Encroaching Waste blowing up this one. And then I take a swing down to two. Alright, first let's uh first things first, let's play the Sylvan Carry Addits and see if it resolves. Oh, you know what? I should have yeah, I was gonna say I should have went to second main first. Alright, um I think I am gonna encroaching waste here. Yeah. And let's just pass. Oh wait, what wait, that works? If at least two or more Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that about have hazard. I under I underestimated this like crazy. That's insane. I, I thought it only worked if three or more had um had the aim counters on it. I didn't know about that. That's nice. Alright, uh let's go bramble on there. Actually, you know what? No, it's safer to just memorial to war because it's uncounterable. So let's go memorial to war on the green source. And uh, blow that up. And then just keep passing. It's hard not to make bad jokes on some of the things you say. So wide open, trying to have respect here. Dude, it's fine. Go all out. That kind of stuff also helps with the... Uh, the whatchamacallit, like, FTC, COPPA sort of stuff. So feel free, talk all the trash you want. Sometimes I say things without realizing it, and you guys can, like, quote- You guys can get some pretty solid quotes from me. All right. You know what, at this point, now that they have less of that source, I'm just gonna hit that land. And Memorial to War is gonna blow up another land. I just gotta get some creatures. I gotta win somehow. I regret nothing. Yo, Cavalier Thorns. I'm just gonna blow up their last land, though. I'm not in a super rush to play Cavalier. Yeah, get him with a bunch of guys. That's I told you, I like to get him with a bunch of guys. Cavalier of Thorns, please give me another Memorial to War so the opponent can shame Scoop. Okay, they scoop it up. We don't even get to see our top five. What was our top five? One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna get Rootbound Crag at least. And then our next draw is gonna be all oh, Sylvan Primordial. All right, yeah, it's over. All right, on to sideboarding. Uh, we definitely want Magma Sprays for those voices. And I definitely want Roast for those Tireless Trackers. And I probably want Rending Volley for those uh, Spell Quellers. Um, our Backstopper is not terrible. The land destruction plans seem to work pretty well there. Um, we know they got spell colors in their deck, but maybe I don't need to, uh... I don't know. Do I want to go in the heavy removal plan, or do I want to keep in a bunch of land destruction? Like, maybe I can cut Frenzy Tillings. What if I cut Frenzy Tillings? Cut... The mismatched Elvish Mystic. And a couple carry adeds and a Bramble Crush and run it like that. That looks fine, although we don't have nearly as much land destruction. But maybe that's okay. Oh wait, Grafdigger's Cage. Bring in Grafdigger's Cage. No! Moto! 
Yes, it is Pioneer. Oh, I sound creepy? Oh, did my voice, did my voice thing mess up? Is my audio, did my audio go all robotic? Did my audio die, guys? I have to, oh, it's good? All right, cool. Good here, all right. Let's keep this hand because we got land whirls and then into Sylvan Curiata leaving up Rending Volley and Lightning Strike. And then if these things don't get interacted with, we just need to find, oh wait, we actually need a lot of sources to get up to Sylvan Primordial, Never mind. I'm gonna actually get my tap line out of the way. Actually, no, that wasn't smart. I should have just played land whirls because next turn then I could have went Sylvan Carry added plus tap land. But that wasn't smart. I should not have done that. I should have just went land war elves. Yeah, voice resurgence. I don't want a rending volley that. I definitely want to wait to find a magma spray. But at least Sylvan Carry added blocks that, which is good. No shocks, all right? That means no spell queller. Elvish Mystic. I definitely want to lightning strike that if possible. Ooh, that's actually a good top deck. So now I can go lightning strike Lanwer or Elvish Mystic. And I don't mind taking a swing for two here. Yeah, I don't mind taking a swing for two. So let's just uh, get out an. And elves just to make sure that we uh, can play whatever we draw uh if some if someone IP someone IP someone is that what it means thank you for your tier one subscription welcome to the marination enjoy your moons and nuts your cards your ducks and your spikes welcome Oh no, because they reflected mage my elf, I can't play Chandra this turn. Alright, so let's just go with... Could I Rending Volley the Reflector Mage or just not care about it? I do have another backup Rending Volley, so I mean, like, might as well. Hello. Fallen 528, thank you for the follow. Can we get some duckies in the chat for uh, IP someone, by the way? He made a deck on MTG Goldfish to show you. Tell, tell you what I think about it. All right, we'll do that in between rounds if we have time. Come on, land. Yay! Alright, try to get this Chandra down. If possible. What's their last card? They're gonna activate the Swatch. The, the Quatch. Courser. Pretty good. Alright, let's just minus two here. Take a swing. One swing is fine. Yep, here's Courser. Ooh, Queller on top. Gotta be wary of that. But you know what? Rending Volley deals with it. Another one. Yep. One left in the grip. Alright, so I'm kind of tempted to just minus one here. Kind of tempted to just do that. I mean, probably smarter to just tick up. Yeah, I guess we'll deal with that later. So let's just tick up now. Double dork. Oh, I have Memorials to War. Maybe I should have played one of those. Or just used one of those. Just one elf plus use a memorial. 
But then again, I do want to get up to the Sylvan Primordial, so I'll just wait on it. Grimokas. Okay, what's their what's their last card that we don't know about? Another Reflector. Okay, that doesn't stop me from playing Primordial, so that's fine. Sure. Any swings? Swings and swings? Alright, I'll block one of them and I'll just let it let it eat the other hit. Um alright, so we'd have to tap completely out. Ooh, you know what? That changes everything. Um I guess now I'm just gonna tick up and then just go with this one. Seems fine to me. Actually, wait a second. Oh, I, I definitely screwed up. Actually, I have Rending Volley. We're fine. So they're gonna they're gonna spell quell here, but then I'll just Rending Volley. Yeah, I'm just gonna Rending Volley. We should be good. Rending Volley, get it back. Give me this. Play it. Now I'm going to minus four on the courser. See, this is why I should have minus one this Chandra. Uh, no attacks. So they can go all at this Chandra and take it down. But now this Chandra's starting to eat them alive, so I think they're pretty done here. Oh, they found Dramoka's command, so they're fighting, and they're gonna get rid of that Chandra now. Or they can go all at this Chandra and force me to lose my, uh, lose my Sylvan Carry added. I assume they might go all at Chandra Awaken Inferno. Yeah. So I can save it if I chump here, but then I... You know, I am, because this Chandra can make mana so I can play this. So I think I will do that. That's not a horrible idea. I can get another emblem on them. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Seems good to me. I like that. All right, Bramble Crush. So, give him another emblem. Take up for mana here. And let's go, Primordial. Go ahead and blow up a breeding pool. Try to get them off of green mana so they can't Coco anymore. I do got a couple more memorials to start cracking. So they can take down one of our Chandras here, but now they have a bunch of emblems. And if they go attacking, then I'm threatening to kill them because, like, they're gonna be taking three per turn and I just swing with the six, seven, bring them down to eight, and then they go down to five and then down to two. And so, yeah, if they wanna try to kill our Chandras here, it's fine. Dude, I will block. They're just upgrading their elemental. Alright, dude, let's uh, give you another emblem. And, uh, can I go Bramble Crush plus Memorial? No, I'm one short. Alright, but I can Bramble Crush on the... Um, let's actually go Hollowed Fountain, because it's, uh, their source to make check lands enter untapped. They found a Spell Queller. Okay. Tick up. The land. Play land, War Elves. Pass a turn. All right, you get four triggers. Yeah, big Chandra's nuts. I love that it's uncounterable and that it can sweep the board and kill creatures. Exactly what you want in a walker. And they scoop it up. They realize they're going to die in two swings from, or two uh, upkeeps from those Chandra emblems, and we just overwhelm them. That's exactly what you want to do. Double Chandra is so good to ramp into. 
Got a game here against Jimmy Sedser, and we're going to be on the draw with some RG Ponza and Pioneer. We have to mull his hand because we don't have any green mana, and this one we will keep. Uh, let's go ahead and throw away one of our carry added. We have enough ramp in hand, and um, going to get up to this Cavalier on turn three, ideally. Uh, the opponent appears to be on either Spirits, Dance, uh, Field of the Dead, or Blue Eye Control, or Esper Control. So, um, all decks that are not ideal. Let's go with the white bordered card. I like white bordered cards. I'm a big fan of white bordered cards. It's like a lot of people aren't. It's either you are or you're not. There's never a middle ground. Okay, so it's an all that glitters deck. Memorial to War. Do you have any music released? I actually don't. I, I've just played music all my or not all my life, but like half my life since I was 12 years old. And uh, I've, I've always just like written my own songs and stuff, but I've never really released anything. All right, they're attacking five. That's fine because I have a five, six uh, thing here. All right, let's go three. Oh, did I really play the wrong land? Did I really just play the wrong land? Oh, I just played the wrong land. Oh, that's a bummer. I drew a basic and I was like, oh, I don't have to take pain. And look at that. Get screwed for it. That's a bummer. <laughs> that's a bummer. The deck looked good though. So you had it when you draft Chandra. Yeah, I totally had it. What's up, old pappin? How's it going? quarter shield just because that one misstep right there the opponent can get a massive advantage this turn and likely we lose now they can start getting back their dark Souls citadel mox amber so now this uh now blowing up a land doesn't even really do a whole lot i'm still just gonna take it ramble crush can blow up the insole artifact Alright, so I think I'm going to go Cavalier because it can block well. What does Cavalier do when he dies? Put another card from a graveyard on top of your library. Alright, uh, Stomping Ground. Which tab to. I would not like to pay two. Because it enters tapped anyways. It doesn't enter untapped. Oh, it doesn't enter. It doesn't enter tapped. So I could have played Bram Bramble Crush here. That's a shame. But then I would have went to four, which is not ideal. I'm still learning these cards, okay? We just started playing this deck. I don't know what these cards do. <laughs> we got a 5-8. Yo, I'm still blocking. You're not gonna stop me. Put me to the test, eh? What's up, White Island Sand? Can you press a button, opponent? Thank you. I will block. Dang. Getting really flooded here. Alright, Bramble Crush this in soul artifact. And then we can use this memorial. Got a tap for red here. Well up a hollow fountain. Now, I could die to an All That Glitters if I attack here, but I probably have to start attacking eventually. So if they got it, they got it. If not, cool. So just hope for no All That Glitters and we should be 
We should be okay, but we're in top deck mode. I would like a Chandra. Okay, they had all their glitters, so now we die. That's, uh, oh wait, that's six. They need to find two more damage. Did they just literally top deck double all the glitters? Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute's gonna do it. All right, GG. Opponent top deck the win. Let's go on to sideboard. And now we get roasts. We get rending volleys and roasts. And magma sprays. And we can go ahead and cut one half hazard bombardment, two frenzy tillings. Let's cut probably some ramp. We have a lot of removal, so we're going to slow the game down either way. And then let's cut one. Do I cut a big Chandra here? No, let's just cut one little Chandra. Actually, no. Let's cut one Cavalier. Got all the removal now. Two damage to a creature with flying in real life. Puts the four cards from graveyard on the bottom of your library. Put a counter on a creature. Uh, yeah, I should do. This could name uh, Emery, but we can just kill Emery. Got a lot of removal now. Your sideboard. What is this? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve removal. Yeah, it's pretty good. Land destruction feels a bit clunky in this format. It is old Pappin, but we're trying to make it work. The list actually turned out pretty sick. It's pretty sweet. I don't have to worry too much about my mana dorks getting removed. I don't think they're going to remove them at all because they don't have Sunlance. Sunlance is not in Pioneer. Although it'd be cool if it was. It's a very fitting Pioneer card, but it's... Yeah, it's not. It's not a thing. What does that mean? You err with caution below 10. It's actually pretty warm in here. I'm gonna go turn off the heater. One sec. The opponent's taking their time anyways. Okay. Air on the side of caution? Uh, I don't know. I don't really get out much Cyber Shade. I'm more of a stay-at-home person, and I don't watch TV, so... There's a lot of, like, news and slang and stuff that I don't really hear about until years after they're, they're already dead. I might have heard it before. It kind of rings a... It rings not really a big bell, but it rings a little tiny uh, dinner bell. Um, yeah, that is an Ibanez. Is this? It's a seven string because I'm very genty. All right. Now we get to be on the play. And we are going to keep this hand. We do need to draw lands, get up to this frenzy tilling. But once we get up to that frenzy tilling, it could help us ramp into the Sylvan Primordial. Got to draw two lands, but we do have a lot of removal to slow the game down. Um, I mean... I'm just gonna start a memorial to war because we don't particularly have anything we're trying to ramp into very fast right now, so no need to no need to go quick when there's no payoff right right now currently. Okay, there's a Cavalier of Thorns, another thing we need two lands for. I hope they just slam uh SRAM here so I can use this. Magma Spray. Slamus Ram. Don't go with your spell that turns that thing into a big... Oh yeah, he's stabbing for blue. He does have Insole Artifact, unfortunately. So I need to draw a Bramble Crush. Most importantly, I just need lands. That's kind of a land. Alright. Still just gonna get in. The Magma Spray, because Magma Spray also kills Emery, so... Good. Okay, they're tapping down. Pretty cool. I don't have a removal spell that can hit Psy. I do have Roast, but... Um, I don't... Have it in hand currently.
having things like Emery and Mox Amber really counteract my land destruction plan. Making lots of thops. Alright, come on. I need a land or else I can't get back in this game. Nope, that's not a land. But that is something that kills Psy. So it's not the worst thing to top deck. And they just had double in Soul Artifact, and now we're getting beaten down for 10 here, and I can't quite block, so I'm just gonna take it. I need to get this Cavalier down now. And I did get the mana for Cavalier, so let's play Cavalier. And that can wrap me again. I gotta get this Sylvan Primordial down quick. And I actually, in the top five cards, whiffed lands. I did not get any lands in the top five. Man, getting that Sylvan Primordial down, being another Fat Reach body that would blow up an Insole Artifact, would have helped a lot, but unfortunately, stars did not align. Now I'm going to one here. So... How do I get out of this one? Chandra at Wicked Inferno is not going to do it. I can live still, but I would have to chump block. Alright, so I guess we just have to pass and lose one of our elves. I don't even know the answer, Van Wedge. It's the no, it's the no land life, that's what it is. Oh no, it was a cyber shade who said that. Alright, so let's block the Thopter. Let's jump here. And let's lightning strike a Thop. And let's magma spray a Thop. How do I get out of this? Bramble Crush? I need Bramble Crush. That is not a Bramble Crush, so that, that's not going to do it. And so I think that's the game. Because then I lose this and I'm back down to 3 mana, so yeah, it's over. You know, when you don't get lands, you can't really play Magic the Gathering, so that was, uh, that was a loss by default. Because I, I heard, I heard, somebody told me in a, in a story a long time ago that you need lands to play this game, so... Got a game here against Dragon Chaos 4, and we're going to be on the draw with some RG Ponza and Pioneer. And uh, it's a slow hand, but I'll keep it. It's slow because this we have our Singleton Mountain instead of one of our eight forests. So this uh, these elves have to come out in the second turn rather than the first. All right, so Rootbound Crag, go. Forest would be an amazing top deck so that I can go um, double elves and then turn three Frenzy Tilling. But the opponent having a mana dork is not ideal because that's like the opposite of our Ponza um, strategy. It's that's ramping them. We don't want we don't want our opponents to ramp. All right, and now they have a courser to make it so that they can further hit even more land drops after we start blowing up lands. All right. So they're just holding up a Coco now? Alright, they're holding up a Coco. The best thing I got here for the amount of mana I got is uh, Elvish Mystic. So this Haphazard Bombardment can probably get me back in the game. Aw, oh, Court of Calling on top. And have Hazard Bombardment cannot put an aim counter on Corsair. Because it puts it on non-enchantment permanence. I don't know why, but it does. And they found Nyssa, which is the worst thing for us. So, 
Yeah, this uh, half hazard bombardment has to hit that Nissa, or else we lose. All right, let's do it. You got a job to do. You got a job to do. And you better do good work. <laughs> And here's one of the things that I don't understand too much when people play Magic on Moto is that they keep the they keep the card in the stack and read it when they can just like let it resolve and then read it while it's on the battlefield so that the game can progress. Um I'm gonna target another forest probably. Alright, please hit the Nissa. Nope, it hits one of the uh the worst targets. Karamentra's Acolyte. Now they got Court of Calling at the ready, which they can do for a lot. They can Court of Calling for basically any creature in their deck, I assume, except Ulamog. This Encroaching Ways isn't doing a whole lot here because it only hits non-basic lands, but if they find a Nick, though, so it can blow that up. So the opponent has access to six, seven, eight, nine mana here. They can almost play Ulamog. If they had a land to play, they could have played Ulamog. That's the power of Nissa who shakes her boobies. Make another three, three. And they have a Steel Leaf Champion, not ideal. So instead of Frenzy Tilling here, I have to play uh, Cavalier of Thorns because I need a blocker. They didn't attack for some reason. Um, there's Bramble Crush. I think I have to slam dunk Bramble Crush here. Probably. I probably have to do that. I don't know if I can, though. I need a blocker. I definitely need a blocker for that Steel Leaf. But at the same time, Nissa is a threat. Um, but I guess Nissa makes a 3-3 three, three, and that's a 5-4. That's a so I think priorities tell me that. I have to get down a blocker here. I get a forest. And at least I can play a Sylvan Carry added here, so. And please blow up Nissa. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, deck. Thank you, Haphazard Bombardment. They found another land. Something big. Another Nyssa. Sweet. So at least we know one of those forests they ticked up on is about to die to half hazard here. So I can pull up this forest. Oh, yo, another haphazard. Oh, that's sweet. I think let's do that. That seems like fun. Because both of them will have the chance to blow up Nyssa. But I could Bramble Crush. But then again, I still don't have enough blockers. All right, we're going to second haphazard bombardment. Let's do it. All right, Nyssa, Steel Leaf, Forest, Forest. All right, let's go to... Let's go to the end step, please. Nissa and Steel Leaf. Nissa, yes, and one of their lands. All right, cool. It's working. Oh man, Half Hazard Bombardment is sick. Oh man, and they scoop it up on the sideboarding. We maybe we should just be playing a play set of this, man. This card is good. All right, bring in roasts. Bring in roasts. Uh, bring in magma sprays for their little elves. I kind of want Arborback Stomper, not gonna lie. It can block a Steel Leaf Champion and gain five and pressure a Nyssa. Oh, I definitely want Sorcerer Spike. No, I don't, because Nyssa has a vanilla ability on her. All right, I guess I'll just bring in the removal spells. 
And I'll cut Frenzy Tilling, Frenzy Tilling. Um, I want to keep Bramble Crush. Harry added Sylvan Primordial. And another Frenzy Tilling. I guess. Sure. Okay, that looks pretty decent. We don't have double red, unfortunately, but that's a turn three frenzy tilling. Even though we're on the draw. Or not ideal. Can I get a magma spray? Can I get a magma spray, please? Nope. Okay, let's play our own Elvis Mickey. But whose Elvis Mickey is the real one? Peel Leaf Champagne. Can I get a roast? I cannot get a roast. Okay, but at least Chandra, once I get a second red, can blast that Steel Leaf. It's pretty cool. Taking it. Ooh, have hazard bombardment. I think let's do that, because I would like to get rid of that Steel Leaf. Alright, Steel Leaf, land, land, land. Close up a land. I should have hit their Elvish Mystics, actually. Because I want to Bramble Crush uh, something. Genesis Hydra for two. I didn't even know it was Pioneer Legal. That's cool. M15. Oh man, they hit some goodies off of that. So they can get one of them. They take the, the, the Lana War Elves. Please give me a red source. Mm. Red source, please. No. Okay. So this is going to be a coin flip, 50-50 chance here, but I need to get my second red for Chandra, so I'm going to get my second red source. Haphazard Bombardment is going to hit something. Please hit the Steel Leaf. Please hit the Steel Leaf. Nope, hits a land. Okay, are we dead here? Oh, they hit a land. They got four mana. I need Chandra. I need big Chandra to come down and deal three to non non elementals. Like I need this Chandra to blast this. I need to barely live, and then I need to get big Chandra to blast all the elementals. Uh, can can I chump this? It doesn't have trample, so I guess I'm forced to chump. I'm gonna chump here. Cavalier of Thorns, that's a blocker. Um, I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do that. Memorial? I don't get a memorial. It's a forest. So now I have a blocker to protect Chandra once I get it down. Aw, oh, do you really have like Coco here or something? Board of Calling for one, get another elf. Alright, but we can go to one here. We don't die. We get we uh we go to one. Like I can block Steel Leaf and, and chump Genesis Hydra and go to one. And then Chandra comes down, blasts Steel Leaf. Then I can block Genesis Hydra, block, block on two elves, and I think I would die. Oh no, they're tapping out. They're just playing Nyssa. Okay, so I can live on two. Alright, so gotta do what we gotta do. Block there, jump there. We got a three. Sylvan carry added. Ooh, magma spray. 
Um, I could Bramble Crush Nissa, Magmus Ray Genesis Hydra, and then I can go block um, this forest and block one of the elves, but then I would die. That's Xaxes. That is Xaxes. What if I go Chandra, blast the forest, and then block Genesis Hydra, block there, I go to one? No, I, I would die. Um... I think I gotta deal with sh with Nissa here. Nope. All right, pass the turn. Just pray that the opponent doesn't swing all. Don't swing all. All right, they swung all. We die to Xaxes. We died with Xaxes. All right, let's go to sideboarding and run it right back. Being on the play, this should be a lot better. This should be a lot better being on the play. Let's do it. Would you like to play first? Yes. We'll look in the zero lander. This is not good. I think I'm gonna keep it and just hope to draw lands because I'm not gonna go to five. At least I got a couple removal spells. So I'm going to throw away probably Bramble Crush because I'd rather get Chandra down. All right, it's not looking so good. A very, very, very extremely winnable matchup turned into a very low odds for us because uh, the luck of the draw, the opening hand was bad. So it's unfortunate, but these things happen. All right, I did draw a Mana Dork, but I do need another red source to get the Chandra down. And I also need... More lands in general to get this cavalier down. Sylvan carry added, can't blast that. Land? Not a land. Okay, red source away from Chandra. That would be amazing. Like if they just played something Chandra can blast and I can draw a red source. We'd be right back in this game. Okay, that that complicates things. It, even if they got double burning tree, that really complicates things. On the courser. Technically, Chandra blasts courser, but then the the burning tree would eat the Chandra. All right. Well, I've got to roast this courser and pass a turn. At least we're getting a good amount of removal. I hope they don't have a Steel Leaf. Taken two. Okay, I did get a source. Now I can Chandra and blast the... Actually, I don't even want to blast it. I just want to tick up. I want to keep this thing alive. I think I'm going to take up for two red mana and lightning strike the burning tree. Just to make sure that Chandra takes no damage. What do they have as an instant here? Do they have a night pack ambusher? They don't. They just had nothing for five mana. But now they definitely got to have something for six here. Something good. They're waiting to get to. Genesis Hydra for four. I think it doesn't have haste. But Chandra can blast that. And that's not very good for them. They didn't get too much goodies. So maybe I don't even want to blast the Hydra. Maybe I just want to take up for mana. Like if I top deck a green source or just any land really, I'm just gonna slam Primordial Hydra. Land? Magma spray. All right, so I can play Cavalier of Thorns here. I can. I can also minus three there, Magma Spray there. That's probably just smarter. All right, let's do that. Okay, we might not be out of this game. 
that was a good turn, but they still have a pretty good amount of cards in hand and a lot of mana, so they can still do some pretty huge stuff here. Okay, Nissa's pretty good too. So now our Chandra dies and we really need a green source off the top or we lose. Or we really just need a Bramble Crush. Because now Chandra's dying. I probably should have just played the Cavalier. Okay, we did get it. We did get it. And now I'm going to need to not whiff here. Not whiff because I need to get us to the Sylvan Primordial to kill that Chandra or that Nissa fast. And I didn't whiff. That's good. So give me this memorial. Alright, one last test. One last test of luck deck. Give me the land. Off the top, or we die. It's as simple as that. And also I need to not have Ulamog or Voracious Hydra. What's up, Dementia? Yay, I didn't with my land. Sweet. They didn't even use they didn't even use Nissa. I get a stomping ground. And now I'm gonna start swinging. Yeah, they scoop it up. Their hand was probably very- they're probably getting really flooded. Dude, I can't believe we took down Mono Green. That was intense. We uh, mulliganed there and had the roughest hand in the world, but we somehow weaseled our way out of that one. I think we actually just got lucky there. So, yeah, we kind of luck sacked, I'll admit. Before we get into the sped up rounds of the video, I would like to remind you that if you were considering purchasing today's deck, or any cards really, it would be awesome if you purchased through our decklist link down below. That is our tcgplayer.com affiliate link, and when you purchase through that link, it really helps support the channel. And with that being said, let's resume the video. Hope you enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome to the speed up session for today's video. We like to speed up the longest games to make sure the video is not way longer than it should be. And as I always say, if you want to catch the full games unsped up, unedited, and uncut from the video, you can go to the Twitch link down below in the description and check out the entire VOD there. So we're speeding up the next two games. This first one we're going up what seems to be a blue-white control deck. They discard a Gideon, so, and they disable stroked our Sylvan Primordial that we ramped up to on turn number four, which was pretty nuts. But they did the sample stroke it and then they brazen borrower. So after seeing brazen borrower specifically, I pretty much nailed it that they are, I nailed that they're blue white tempo. And that blue white tempo deck has been going around like crazy. It's been going around like the plague. A lot of people have been playing it. And so we start strip mining their lands like crazy. I wait till the overcommit to three lands so that half hazard bombardment can start blowing up lands. And I just keep them down to two and one mana at all times, doing exactly what Ponza should do. And we ended up getting there. So we move on to the next game and I bring in Rending Volleys because since they're blue white tempo, I know they're gonna have deputy detention, spell queller and stuff like that. And it also kills Brazen Borrower and whatever else they might have. Now they have that Smuggler's Copter. I wait for them to crew it before I go to like lightning strike it. And they get Gideon down. Um, now, I I really need to draw a Bramble Crush for that Gideon. I get Chandra down. I start attacking that Gideon. And I know that... Oh, wait. That's where... Yeah, I scoop it up because they, they slammed something there that prompted me to concede. So we go on to the next game. And this one is not looking bad because I got a turn three Bramble Crush and then turn three... Chandra as well those options to me and I really need a land to play this cavalier but I do just get down Chandra but they're able to find another creature to play to crew the copter and kill Chandra so I lose Chandra but now I can start ramping up this sylvan primordial and when I get this sylvan primordial down I can blow up their blow up their blue source but they play a Gideon instead so instead I decide to blow up the Gideon because obviously uh if they're able to deal with my sylvan primordial then Gideon would just run rampant so I deal with the Gideon they deferry to bounce my sylvan primordial but that's fine because I play it back out and now I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to stabilize. I kill a smuggler's copter with Sylvan Primordial. I source their spyglass down there. Um, oh no, they counter it. But anyways, I get down Chandra, Wake Inferno as well. So this game is as good as over. Like I'm destroying them. 
And but we're at nine and they're at the point where they can flash in a few threats and they have a Gideon to ult and make an emblem and they kill my Chandra. So they got a super lucky top deck there. Now I'm still about to stabilize because I can replay Sylvan Primordial and basically just win. But they top deck the absolute nuts, exactly what they needed. Reflector Mage, they were actually empty handed, zero cards in hand, and they top deck the Reflector Mage to get me. And I was just salty for like the next hour. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, they ended up getting there by the skin of their teeth, just barely top decking the Reflector Mage, exactly the Reflector Mage and getting us. So we move on to the next game, and this is the last game of the video. So it is a red-white prison deck because they got a whole bunch of enchantments, they got Outlaws Merriment. I am starting to blow up a bunch of lands, and I do give them like a billion Chandra Emblems, and at this point there's no way they can even come back through all those Chandra Emblems. I think their only one hope was getting uh, Life Leaking Tokens off of the Outlaws Merriment. So we go to the next game. I bring in a bunch of jank because I don't need my lightning strikes. Now I, uh, they have, I have Bramble Crush to destroy Outlaws Merriman, but I actually decide to go after their lands. I was like, you see me stalling here because I was heavily considering destroying the Outlaws Merriman and I didn't. And that was a mistake because it ends up getting so much value over the course of the game. But I was thinking that I didn't want them to play a land and then play a Legion, um, Assemble the Legion because I thought that they were going to have both Assemble the Legion and Outlaws Merriman and I didn't want them to get that So I decided to destroy their lands to keep them off of it And uh, I keep going on the plan of destroying their lands now in this part of the game of Hazard Bombardment I was so excited because I was going to destroy their enchantments and get my stuff back But have Hazard Bombardment says it destroys non-enchantment permanents I have no idea why but it destroys non-enchantment permanents Maybe it was an enchantment heavy set where things like cast out were very relevant um, anyways, Heliod's down and they cannot stop hitting their land drops. Look at the amount of lands in their graveyard. I destroyed like six lands in a row and still they just keep on hitting their land drops and they're able to start activating Heliod and then I'm just screwed. They get down Gideon and it's just over. So like these attacks just are very bad for me. And we go on to the last game and this is pretty good. Like I got a lot of land disruption, but I just need them to not have a Gideon here and they don't. So now I just start keeping them down at two mana at all times. I'm able to frenzy till them over and over then summon primordial them over and over. They're able to start exiling my stuff with prison realms and cast outs. But then it comes to a point where I actually top deck a Sylvan Primordial and blow up their p prison realm, allowing me to get back another Sylvan Primordial to blow up another thing. And that is just a nail in the coffin that causes them to scoop it up because that pretty much gives them nothing and gives me everything. So GG to Red White Prison. That's a really cool deck from our opponent. Our buddy Fluffy Wolf 2 was playing it. It's really cool. So we ended up with five total wins and a lot of our losses today were absolute pure luck sack on our opponent's part. Or there was also one where we just got land screwed. Uh, there was actually two where we just got land screwed, but yeah, our opponents from our losses today were just absolute pure luck sacks. It's crazy. There was actually only like one actual loss that was a uh, fair and square. Um, if you want to see it, um, some of the some of the games I don't include all the games that we stream in the YouTube video. So if you want to check it out in the Twitch link down below, you can watch the vod there if you were interested. Um, but as far as the deck goes, it was pretty good, I would say. It wasn't it wasn't amazing, but it was pretty decent because if you get that curve out, if you get the dorks, and you get up to crush and a tilling and a primordial, or crush and a tilling and a chandra, it was just pretty bonkers. And I think that really what this deck needs is probably um, some more four drop, some more four drop um, land destruction. Um, like it's cool having this like top end land destruction and stuff, um, but I think that you need to start destroying lands as quick as possible. And the cheapest ones you got are four mana. The only other four drop land destruction spell that I was very um, contemplating was Rebel Reading. Rebel Reading is a four mana destroy target land in Scry 2. And that might be actually pretty good, but in, I put Bramble Crush instead because it was more versatile and it actually did come in clutch a lot because of the fact that it can destroy any permanent that's not a creature. That was very clutch. I was able to destroy a lot of great things with that. But I would say also add Rebel Reading and maybe you might want to add another Mana Dark because the, the cheap um, like early game mana dorks are definitely worth it and you don't want them to die So I would say run like paradise druid just run like heaps of like mana dorks and then just cheaper land destruction But then that would put you in a spot where you just run out of gas really quick and you don't really have a lot going for you So I would say run some more card advantage bombs 
Um, honestly, um, Cavalier of Thorns was cool, but it's probably cuttable. Like, there were some times where it whiffed on lands, and sometimes it found us just a regular land that wasn't a memorial to war. And uh, I would definitely say add more Encroaching Waste. This land was incredible. It was so good for us in Mono Blue Ponza and Modern, and it was so good for us today. So I would say definitely add more Encroaching Wastes. Cavalier of Thorns, on, however, is probably cuttable, and Haphazard Bombardment is probably cuttable, even though Haphazard Bombardment was pretty sweet and did some really cool stuff for us today. But the fact that it's RNG and it's six mana is what kind of throws it off. So I would say that's the problem with it. You can probably cut those. Chandra Torch of Defiance was pretty cool sometimes but honestly since we lack a lot of removal and we lack a lot of good blockers there was a lot of times where our opponent's creatures just heavily pressured this but however this chandra a wicked inferno was amazing so i'd hate to say it but this might be cuttable but also it's really amazing that it ramps us into this stuff like really good it ramps us into it super good so might be able to keep it because it's still an excellent walker against control um but yeah, you might want to add a lot more cheap things to the deck to make it decent. And like I said, card advantage bombs. There is things you can run, big walkers, things like Ugin, more more of these. You know, there there's card advantage things you can you can try out. But yeah, just keep in mind when you build Ponza is that its main weakness is running out of gas. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did and subscribe if you're new for the Spice Season gameplay every other day. Let me know a deck you want to see in the comments down below. And uh, check out the social media links are down below as well as a link to Twitch if you want to catch one of these live streams. We stream every Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see some of you guys there. Um, thank you all the sponsors, the patrons, the Twitch chat. We're going to get out of here. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.